What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome to another episode of Gormo Gang. Today, a bit of a shorter video actually, um, it's not going to be as long as usual. I mean, I said that yesterday and it was still about 15 minutes long, so God knows. But today, very similar to yesterday, going to open a few packs, going to hopefully get a few decent cards and then we're going to go into 6 gun content. Because yet again, sadly, I have a life and sadly... It's getting in the way of recording a few things. So, no draft to glory again today. I do apologise. Um, I, I really do want to try and get as much of draft to glory recorded as possible. But, clearly not. Because, yeah, I just don't have the time. However, we're starting off today claiming our Silver Sensations final few packs. We've got the 100k pack and the 55k pack. So, hopefully, a few good things from there. I've also gone through and completed the marquee matchups. So, that's cost about 20k. I've used a few high rated cards to make it a little bit cheaper as well, um, but overall, I think it's worth it. So, we've got nine, probably like five decent packs, and then four semi decent packs. So, it is just purely a case of we'll open these up, see what we get. Anything good, obviously, a bonus. Any sort of gold cards between the rating of 77 and 80 is just going to help us as well. So, yeah, I mean, straight away, 279 rated, cannot complain, but. Don't, don't even, I mean, there's not even anything to talk about really right now because obviously FIFA 21 coming to an end, FIFA 22, a lot of people are playing the beta. However, apart from the first sort of two days where it was popular, nothing's really happened. We do get a team of the season here. It's going to be Polish centre back from Barnsley. We've got him already, so my worry is is this an untradeable? No, it's a tradable SPC. Nice and easy. Another 86 rated up there, not too bad. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, the hype for FIFA 22, thankfully, isn't there right now in a sense of, like, nobody's over-predicting or nobody's over-hyping and nobody's over-releasing stuff, so it's not too bad. Get another team of the season here out of a small pack. It's a German centre mid. Is that Gundogan? Do you know what? Not bad. A 92 rated Gundogan. Not too bad whatsoever. Do you know what? A few high-rated cards as well. Pack look right now. Seems to be very, very good. Um, we do, however, need to get rid of somebody. This guy can go quite easily. And then he can go up there. So, two team of seasons. Three packs. Can't complain. Um, but I just keep trying to talk about FIFA 21. I keep getting rudely interrupted with good packs. So, maybe if EA could just leave it for a second. No. No, no. Three in a row. Okay, I don't know what I've done to get all of this, but we get a Portuguese striker. Sadly, not Cristiano Ronaldo. It is going to be Andre Silva. Again, another team of the season in the club. Another duplicate card, I can tell that for sure. Is this going to be tradable? <laughs> another duplicate tradable card. My, the only problem I am really having is I need to go through this transfer list. Uh, because, as you can tell, it is in a state of... I probably don't need to keep a lot of these silver cards, but for some reason I have been, and I just haven't got around to getting rid of them. So we'll try and get rid of a few here. I think after him, we should just be able to send all of that up there because that is all useful. That is all useless to us. And there we go. So three packs, three walkouts, three team of the seasons. Number four. Can this be a walkout? If not, we're talking about FIFA 22. Finally, we, out of probably one of the better packs, we don't get anything good, but I'm excited for FIFA 22. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more content being released about it over the next few days. Obviously, Alba has already been... Oh, David Alba. Um, not Alba. David Alba has already been confirmed as getting a once to watch. So, again, hopefully we'll get a bit more information with all of that type of thing. A lot of once to watches that will be coming. So, hopefully, some good cards so that we'll be able to pack at the start of the year. We'll see. It usually is a two-week promo now. Um, EA did change it to two weeks, I think. It was last year. I know the year before it was a one-week promo, so we'll see if it's two weeks again. I presume it will be because there's going to be a lot of big transfer cards to obviously try and put in. Half of the PSG team is just purely going to be transfer cards, so God knows what EA will do with that, but we will see. Obviously, it's FIFA 22. Right now, we're playing FIFA 21, and there's so much still to grind. I'm going to be, obviously, playing for a towel. We'll go and hop into that team in a minute because we're probably not going to get a towel finished today. However, we should get the majority of it complete to an extent, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, 
obviously the quicker I can get a towel done just means that he's going to be in the team for me for this weekend league and obviously I really want him in this team for weekend league because he is going to help out quite a bit considering it is league and theme I think we might also be able to show off the team that I'm going to use I think I've already made it as a concept so we will see with that um, get rid of all of this because it's tradable and uh, that guy can be sent to the club there we go so clearing out the transfer a little bit more another 55k and then another 100k pack it's just filling the club back up with a lot of cards again no walkout boards again so we've got three team of the seasons already we're gonna have an 87 times 10 pack to finish today we may maybe we'll do one of the 88 plus picks i'm not too sure I'm not really a fan of them. I'd rather put all like the effort into doing something else. But again, we will see if if we get them done. They can be kind of done next week if we don't get the 87 times 10 backs. Um, I think I'll build one for today. I'll build one to have ready for tomorrow. And then if they don't come back, then we've already got one spare. If they do come back, then fantastic. But before we open that 100k pack, as I was saying... Team that we're going to use to try and get a towel done. Um, try and use out this Ben Yedder card. Again, using Bamba. Try out this Cesc Fabregas. Trying out Marquinhos, Navas, Paredes getting a proper run out. Also get to try out Chilwell, which would be nice. Jones we get to use for a few more games. I think we've only used him for two, yeah, two games. So the team's looking really good. And so then for this weekend league, I think I built it last night. Yeah, I did. So this is going to be what the team will run with. Amavi will be completed and the tower will be completed over the next two days. Gelson Martins is going to be the striker. He's got the 80 rated team left. So hopefully, just with one duplicate card, it'd be dead easy to throw him in. Ben Yedder's not even going to make the team because I do want to try and use a few of the loan cards this week. So right now, we're going to use Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm also tempted to maybe throw in Messi to try out his card. Again, with Lewandowski, try out his card. So... Kind of going to start making use of all these loan cards so we can start getting rid of them is the main reason for it. But I think you need, what, eight league and players. We've got Maldini, Cantona and Ronaldo as our non. But we can also swap things around to be able to play Ben Yedder in a striker and then change Camavinga for, say, like Vixel or somebody like that. Or probably Acuna because we'll be able to get the chemistry um, a little bit better. Obviously, swapping them to around like that. So maybe we'll run with this team. Um, obviously Acuna is 10 times better sadly we have lost quite a lot of coins on him um, or potential profit obviously I didn't buy him but he is only at 250k right now so a little bit of a downside to it but again I can't complain too much at it all so yeah that's going to be the weekend league team and then obviously we're going to go and get a towel and probably get a Marvy done at the same time um, just purely down to the fact that doing a towel you need certain stipulations that you need for a Marvy so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, and yeah, let's go hop into the 100k pack before we hop into 6pm content. Before maybe we claim one of the two cards. Maybe we'll have other packs open. I can't lie. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next two hours. So we will see what happens. But one thing that we can guarantee is hopefully a walkout from this pack. It is. It is going to be a team of the season. It is going to be French CDM. Do you know what? Andre's not bad. Again, if I didn't have like a league gun team, he'd be really good to use for this weekend league. Could see him quite a bit if people are going to do the objective. But 92 rated. Very good for fodder. Can we get a card in behind? Please, yeah. Going to take a while to load. So maybe the loading... Absolutely nothing in behind. Why would EA give me anything? Yep. An awful 100k pack, especially for this time of the year. Let's go hop into 6pm content. Alright then guys, so just quickly before we hop into 6pm content with them duplicates that we just got from the 100k pack. Um, ben Yedder's going because we don't need him. We've got a better team of the season card. And so, a 5k pack and more importantly, Gelson Martins is complete. So... Probably going to change the team around to give this card a little bit of a run out testing for a few different rival games to get a towel. But, Gelson Martins is complete. Now, let's go hop into 6pm content. Alright then guys, so hopping into 6pm content and 
a different one to start off with the footies fan vote a 99 rated overall voting category so obviously Mane or Kante getting a 99 rated card for me of course I want Sadio Mane but an N'Golo Kante would be fun Um it's a different one EA have never done this before so we'll have to see what it really entails Um as well, we get silver send-off, which I presume is probably now going to be the last silver sort of stars that we get. It's going to be score 30 goals using silver players, assist, play 15 matches with 11 players, um, assist using silver defenders in three separate games, score an assist, assist with three balls, score four goals. For an ultimate pack, and then some very good packs along the way. Do you know what? I like that idea. Hudson Adoy, a really, really good card, actually. This card could be fun to use. Definitely worth getting hold of. Silver Beast, you'll get a lot of the Silver Send Off done at the same time as Silver Beast. So it's maybe worth just grinding them separately, as well as maybe building like a Lee Gun team and trying to go and do a Marvi. Why not? Silver Weekend League Plus. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is, I like this a lot. Win two games, four games, and six games. Plus, we've also got the weekend league of the league gun team. So maybe we'll get like eight wins to get the icon swaps done. And then if we can, I might just try and win a few games with these. Why not? It's a bit of fun at the end of the day. Um, in terms of milestones, nothing new. So some good objectives, actually. Some good grindable objectives, really good packs. Minimum 25k packs back is obviously really, really good. Um, so definitely going to try and do some of that. V Ooh. Oh, I like this a lot. They're really focusing on silver cards this week. That's fantastic. So maybe next week, I guess, would it be? Be this week that we get the weekend league. So maybe next week it will change. Who knows? But all that you need is... That is really easy to complete. A gold team to get this Vidra card. Obviously, he's only 74 rated, but the improvements to his card are fantastic. A really, really good looking card. Definitely one that I'll complete. Um, obviously, I've had his... He was the one that originally got the first Silver Stars or Silver Team of the Week. So, a kind of a bit of a homage to that, really, I guess. Maybe EA aren't going to do any more of them. Diago Mendes also winning the play vote. Thought that was likely to happen. Not a bad card overall, looking very good. An 80, an 82, and an 84 team to complete, not too bad either. Um, and I would presume, did we get the 87 times 10 backs? We did. Okay, so fantastic. So we're probably going to not do these player picks because of the 87 times 10. Silver Farewell, we get an untradeable pack. Complete this challenge to celebrate the end of Silver Stars in FIFA 21 and earn an untradeable reward. So, yeah, Silver Stars is ending. I like it. I like how they're trying to do it. Obviously, if you're using that Vidra, then it's going to mean that you can obviously go ahead and do Silver, the objective. So it will be a bonus to use him. Obviously, Hudson Adoy as well. You can easily build a cheap Prem Silver team with that. Silver players needed for this SBC for 125k pack is basically free. Go ahead and do it. It's worth it for the gold cards. You could do this SBC with silvers then put the gold cards that you get into doing Vidra. Again, it's just trying to make your silver teams better and making use of silver cards. And then I presume we probably didn't get any league SBCs today. Yeah, no, we didn't. So a lot of a focus around silver stars. Obviously, it is Wednesday, so it kind of makes sense. Obviously, next Wednesday, we won't be having any more silver stars. But hopefully, something EA can continue over into FIFA 22. I love the idea of it, so we will see. Um... Mana is obviously going to take our vote, but with the scars as loan cards, we don't need that. And then to finish off today's video, um, we will go ahead and do our preview packs, and then we'll finish on one of the 87 times 10. Hopefully, a Verratti, maybe, or Neymar, an Mbappe, something for this Ligue 1 team would be very nice. Who knows what we'll get. 45k pack. It is... Not a walkout, it is boards, but it's probably not going to be anything of value. Yeah, definitely not. So we will go ahead and finish today's video with an 87 times 10. Tomorrow, there'll be draft to glory, there'll be a road to glory. Back to a bit of a normal schedule for just a day. But anyway, is this a team of the season? It's going to be team of the season Hummel, so not bad. Again, 
high rated, so it's a good start. All that matters is what's in behind this pack. So hopefully, can EA give us something good? Please. That, that, that is fantastic. Phil Foden looks unreal. Another fantastic card. I also packed Havertz today. I forgot to say. Got him in the player pick that I was doing. That's over on Twitter. Go and check that out if you want to. But Phil Foden is fantastic. Looks unreal. I mean, he just fits into so many different teams. Three duplicates to deal with. Not too bad. But that is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. And I'm out. Peace.